What's up, everybody? It's your boy Tom here with Tom Ria Sports, and we're back with our NFL Week 13 recap. Uh, it was a really strong week for us, big bounce back week as far as spread pick go, spread picks go. Much needed for us here. Uh, no Thursday games, so the week kicked off with the Saints taking on the Falcons in Atlanta. These two teams just played each other a few weeks back. Uh, Saints got a convincing victory there. I felt their defense would continue its strong efforts and get a road victory here. They did pretty much just that. Uh, Fal- Saints were three-point favorites. Falcons made it close at the end. Saints ultimately come out with the victory. They do just enough to win and improve to 10-2. and two. Lions Bears. This was definitely my heartbreak game of the week, man. I uh, had the Bears in a few bets, cost me some money. Also had the Bears here to cover and win by three or more. Lions. It looked like it was going to happen. Uh, Bears were up 30 to 20 pretty late, uh, but they did what the Bears do. Mitch Trubisky had a costly fumble deep in his own yardage. Um, Lions convert, convert, excuse me, and I think they scored 14 points in 20 something seconds, something like that. Anyways, Lions win. Both teams improved to five, or both teams are five and seven. Uh, Browns Titans. Browns were five and a half point underdogs on the road. This shocked me a little bit. I felt that was steep. Uh, part of me kind of thought Titans might win, but I knew it'd be a close game, and it wasn't a close game. But fortunately for me, I did pick the Browns. Uh, It was close towards the end, but I mean, Browns played arguably the best half any team has played this year in the NFL. They were up 38 to seven going into the third quarter, just monster stuff. Um, Baker had a huge day. Titans defenses, they got to share some things up. They they scored some points late, made it a close game, uh, but big time win for the Browns. Bengals, Dolphins, Dolphins were 11 points point favorites at home uh, I was a little reluctant here because I wasn't sure who's going to start at quarterback but ultimately I picked the Dolphins because of that defense and because of how putrid the Bengals offense is without Burrow and that's pretty much exactly how the game went uh, Tua played well and um, the de- defense played tremendous Bengals are one of the worst teams in football obviously um, and the Dolphins get a big road victory as they've improved to eight and four Vikings Jaguars Vikings were 10 point favorites at home. Uh, I felt that was too steep. Jaguars have played pretty close games throughout the year, and they did just that again here. Um, Jaguars made a lot of mistakes in this game, but ultimately actually almost had a chance to win it. Game went into overtime. Vikings get the last minute field goal in overtime to win. Uh, But Jaguars cover, so win for us. Uh, Raiders, Jets. What a wild game this was. Um, I didn't really watch all of it, but I did see the end of it. Greg Williams gets fired immediately after the cover zero call. I mean, a lot of madness here. Who knows if Jets did it on purpose. But for our sake, Raiders were eight-point favorites. I did pick them to cover. They didn't, which hurt a little bit. But um, Jets fall to 0-12, and and I'm just happy the Raiders got the victory. I love that franchise. uh, So I hope they can get a playoff berth. That would be pretty cool to see. Um, But loss for us, ultimately. Uh, Colts, Texans. Colts were three-point favorites on the road, and this game got close at the end. Uh, I know the Texans were near the goal line with the last couple minutes and could have took the lead with a touchdown, but Colts' defense stepped up, um, did what they had to do, shut out the Texans in the second half, and they ultimately get a six-point victory to win and cover. Rams-Cardinals, man, this was probably my worst pick of the week. I was way off here. Uh, I thought the Cardinals would win this game. I thought they would, it would be a pretty close game, but Cardinals will win. I thought Kyler would play better, but... Rams defense, again, was just phenomenal. They gave up some points late in the game, but, I mean, seven in the first half, 14 through three quarters, just tremendous stuff. Um, And Goff played pretty well, you know, as you see here, 351 yards, 37 to 47, not bad. The key for them, in my opinion, is they got to be able to get some sort of run game on offense, otherwise they're in trouble. But they did do that this week. They improved to eight and four, tied for tops in the division with Seattle, um, and they beat the spread. So that is our third loss thus far. Um, Rams, or excuse me, Giants, Seahawks called this game to a T. I told a lot of people, hey, like as a Giants fan, I watch them pretty closely. They've been in close games all year, really, other than uh, the Niners game. I knew the 10 and a half, no, it was 11 it closed at. Um, The 11 point favorite Seattle was way too steep. Giants defense is for real. They came out. They played hard. I did not expect them to win the game, so that was awesome to see, especially with Colt McCoy. But uh, I did think it would be a very close game, and that it was. 
Giants get a huge road victory and right now have the tiebreaker over Washington for first place in the division. Seahawks fall to eight and four. Uh, Eagles Packers. This game pretty much kind of went as scripted. Uh, Eagles had a pretty good first quarter. Other than that, it was all Green Bay. Uh, Green Bay was eight and a half point favorites at home. They get a big victory. Defense played well. Eagles are in big time trouble. Looks like they're going with Jalen Hurts now, which is uh, rough because they're paying Wentz a ton of money. So it's going to be crazy to see what happens there, especially if Hurts does play well and where they go from here. But Packers improved the nine and three. Patriots Chargers. Um, I did mention, I'm pretty sure if you go back and watch that Bill Belichick was going to give this Chargers offense problems and that defense. And man, I didn't see this coming though. 45 to nothing. Goodness gracious. I did pick the Patriots to win the game. It was a pick them at the time. Or no, I believe Chargers were one and a half point favorites. So almost a pick them, but I did pick New England. Wow. I mean, 40. I mean, the special teams was tremendous. The defense was tremendous. Just big time stuff from New England as they're trying to get a playoff spot. Um, Big win for them. Chargers, real quick, I'll just say I I love Anthony Lynn, but I think it's time to go. Anyways, uh, Sunday night football, Chiefs, Broncos. uh, Chiefs were 14 point favorites. Again, same thing here. I felt it was too, too close or too high of a spread. I picked the Broncos to cover, and they did. They actually could have won the game, really. Um, don't think Drew Locke is their guy. I also don't think Vangio's the coach for them. I do love Vangio. I just I, he could be. They got to get an offensive mastermind there as a coordinator, though, or something, because defensively he's tremendous. I think he can motivate guys, things like that. But I'd love to see Vangio back in a defensive coordinator role with a good team. I think he could help somebody win a Super Bowl there. But Chiefs ultimately get the win, improved to eleven and one. Uh, Washington Steelers, another huge shocking game. Uh, Steelers were seven point favorites. I had the Steelers here. I thought coming off a close game with Baltimore, they would come out hot and they were up 14, nothing early. Things were looking good for them. And then really at that last minute, last 30 seconds, Washington gets a field goal to go in a half, come out. It's 14, 10 going to the fourth. And then they just dominated in the fourth quarter. Huge road victory for Washington to stay in the thick of things. Uh, Giants beat them twice, so Giants have the tiebreaker, but both teams are 5-7 and seven in the NFC East. Steelers fall to 11-1. and one. Uh, The second Monday game was Bills-Niners. Bills were one-point underdogs, which really shocked me. Uh, I know Niners had a big win versus Los Angeles, and I guess because they're home, even though now their home is in Arizona. Um I just thought the Bills were an overall better team right now, especially because they're healthier, and I felt their defense has looked better, so I picked them to win this game and cover. They did just that. Um, They get a big 10-point victory. They score a lot of points. A slow start, but they really turned it up from the second quarter on. Big win for them. They improved the 9-3, and a couple games away from clinching the AFC East, if they can keep this going. And then the final game, another rare Tuesday game. I'm starting to kind of grow a liking to this. Uh, extends the weeks and it makes the next week shorter to come. You know, it's already Wednesday today. But uh, Ravens were seven and a half. I think they closed at eight and a half. But regardless, um, they were big favorites. I actually had the Cowboys to cover, not to win. Thought it would be a closer game than what it was. And it was pretty close the first half, but second half adjustments, Ravens pretty much dominated. Cowboys are, are real bad. Uh, three and nine defense is real bad, but Ravens get the victory. They cover. Uh, so overall, after all of that, we finished at 10 and five on the week. So a strong performance. I'm definitely happy about it. Definitely looking forward to keep improving as the weeks come to an end. Uh, week 14 is going to kick off tomorrow night with the Patriots taking on the Rams. Uh, two pretty hot defenses coming in, especially the Rams have been all season. Patriots have been good of late. Rams are five point favorites at home. This is a really tough one to call, man. A really tough one to call. I'm going to take the Patriots to beat the spread. I think Rams win the game by about a field goal, but I think Patriots are fighting for their playoff lives and they know that uh, they're going to come out tough. It should be a pretty close game, probably lower scoring. Uh, around like the 27-20 type of range, but I'm going to take the Patriots to cover. Obviously, they wouldn't if that was a score in the Rams one, but I do think it'll be a closer game, and I don't think Rams win by more than five. So taking the Patriots here, I'm not great with Thursday picks, as most of my listeners know, but best of luck. Let me know what you guys think going forward, and we'll be back Saturday with the rest of our Week 14 picks. We'll also want to announce that uh, we're starting a new podcast, Bases Juiced, me and my good friend Josh Finkelstein, a.k.a. Fink. 
Um, he's an editor, social media coordinator for Mets Metsmerized Online. So definitely check that out if you're a baseball fan. We're going to talk all things baseball. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And we'll be back soon. Take care.